Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Halen, also known as Med Student Planner, and I have a really fun video for you today. I received my first ever plum paper planner, and I'm so excited to share with you what is inside. So this is everything that came with my order. It's just kind of some random information about what to follow with them, a little gift tag, and then this is about their cover which is really interesting. Like there's a clear cover on top and then there's also this really like smooth, it's smoother than cardstock, but it's along that kind of line. And then it's saying that this is water resistant, tear proof and ri rigid and sturdy. Okay, so they're saying this is like a sample of it. And then they also sent some stickers with it, which is really fun. But I have been eyeing this for a really long time and I am so glad that I finally like jumped on and did it. Uh, this is a little early birthday present for me. And I'm just so excited. So I got this cover. I don't even remember the name of it, but it was the August special for it. And so I got my new little last name that will be mine in January and I'll just kind of hop right in. So I grabbed the weekly planner in the A5 and she is, uh, she's thick. I had, I, don't, I didn't realize how thick it was gonna be, but we'll deal with that. And so it just kind of gives you this little intro page and then you get the 2020 calendar and then 2021. And then you get these like special dates that are labeled from January to December. And then you get a blank page with where you can just kind of make it what you want. Um, this paper is so smooth. I wonder how pins are gonna be on this. So we'll get there. And so mine is starting with September. I'm really excited about it. And this is definitely, this is gonna need a permanent marker on it or like a permanent pen. I don't even know what to call this. This feels definitely like cardstock. And then you have a little note page to start out and your monthly view, which these colors are going to take some getting used to. I have been using an Erin Condren for, I don't know, like six or seven years now. And so, I'm used to their color system and this will be an adjustment, but it'll be fine. I'll get used to it. Like I, I ended up ordering the monthly sticker kit from them because I'm going to use this as just like my favorite moment of the day or something throughout the month. And so I just thought adding stickers would be fun. And here is the weekly view. It's a Monday through Sunday planner. There's a monthly calendar um, and you can actually customize just about everything with this. I decided to get the lined weekly and then I believe with this one you could fill in with what you wanted here and then also what you wanted here and so I'm going to be using this as my like journal and just memory keeper um, and so I added in what I would put for my favorite memory each week and then since this is a5 it doesn't come with a custom section at the bottom like your normal size planner would but that's just I mean, that's fine. Like, I'm just going to be writing and adding in pictures and whatever else from there. And so this just repeats for the entire month and nothing's really going on. And something that was interesting about Plum Paper is that they give you this week in September. And then that's also your same week in October. And they just, like, highlight which one is together. And, like, I almost wish this page and this page were gone and it was just color all throughout. And so I may do some recoiling or something to put that together. And I mean, that's just a lot of notes pages. Like they do that every month. That's a lot of the note pages I could have gotten elsewhere. And it's, I mean, it's fine. I'll get used to it. And so at the end of the month, you have another notes page. Um, and they actually like label which month all their little notes pages go with, which I mean, it's not gonna bother me. Like, I'm just gonna be putting in extra pictures or anything else that I have for the month, and like, I'll be fine with that. But I added in a couple extra sheets, which was one of the coolest things for me. And I was having such a hard time deciding what I wanted, and I finally just picked, like, if I was going back to look on my memory planner, like, what would I want? So I picked the fitness, like, wellness page, and so has front and back for that. I don't actually know if I would record all of this, but I guess we'll see. And then I also added the reflection page, which I will definitely be using. I was really excited to see this. 
um, this is kind of what I would love to just do like a little monthly reflection on each month and know like what was going on, what could I improve, you know. I just, I love this little page. I wish I had even more, but like weekly or something, but I'll make do. And then I also added in a prayer page, which I thought would be really fun to have. And then they have like a whole sheet on the back as well. And the only thing I wish I would have added was more notes pages in case I wanted to add, because sometimes I run out of room journaling that I don't have any room to add the pictures. And so if I have extra pictures, I don't know if two pages will be enough. And so I'll just have to kind of play with that. And then I will know for next time what will work better for me. And so that just repeats. And so I got it from September of 2020 to December of 2021, which, so this is kind of a backstory, but my Moxie Life goes until December of this year. And I was torn on if I wanted to go ahead and get this now or wait until January to have all of 2021 together. And then I started thinking about like, this is whenever all of our big wedding things start happening. And so we're getting married in January. And so I kind of wanted to have all of that together with it. And so I just went ahead, started it in September and I'm still really excited about it. So these are just all the colors for the months. We're into the greens and back to the cooler colors now. And I added in the same add-ons for all of those. And in the back, So I only got two dot grid, or really like one and a half dot grid pages. And then you get a passwords page, a my contacts, which I won't be needing any of that. And then a holidays page, and then 2022, which seems like an unreal year. I will graduate medical school here. <laughs> that is all I know of 2022. And then you have a pocket folder in the back. It's just like a paper folder. And that is it. Um, really simple and same cover. Oh, if it'll go. Same cover and clear on the back. But I am really excited about using this. This is going... Luckily, I'm not using any stickers or anything in this. Or else it would... I mean, it is a full coil. And it's silver. I'm really excited about this. This is a really good coil. I mean, it seems like a typical planner one for it. The uh, clear cover will get, <laughs> it will take some getting used to, kind of flipping through that. And I know they now offer interchangeable covers, but I'll probably stick with this one for a while just because I love it. I love the rainbows and like the happiness and the little blue bar that ties in my favorite color with it all. And I'm just so excited to jump into this. The monthly sticker kit that I saw has Oh, I didn't realize this didn't flip to the month, but it will come with stickers that go up here for this size planner. And then it also has stickers for this page, which will be fun just to kind of make a little bit brighter and more special, I guess. But that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video.